The purpose of this video will be to show you how to fulfill an order with inventory that is being held at a uh, consignment location or a 3PL location. Now, let's first go and look at our locations. Here you'll see I have a standard dropship, which will be from any random vendor to uh, my customer. Here I have uh, some basic functionality for Warehouse One. I'll only receive products here and transfer them to other warehouses in this demo. I'll have full operations for Warehouse 2 where I can receive, transfer, or deliver from Warehouse 2. And I'll have a consignment location here where I can receive, transfer, and deliver from a consignment location, which is off-site or wherever it may be. So if I want to sell something, and as an example, product X, and I want to deliver it from warehouse two, I just select it either here, or I can select a specific warehouse here for the entire order. But if I select it here, this will take precedence. For example, sale order 11 is the source stock. When I confirm this, it creates a delivery from warehouse two, and I'll see that here by going to warehouse two, delivery, open these up, and I'll see sale order 11 at the bottom of the list right here, created just now. So that's, I can specify, I'm gonna deliver this from this warehouse. So the stock for product X would come out of that warehouse. And as you can see here, all warehouses have the specifications listed here. And I can also look at my locations and I can see all warehouse for where, all stock for warehouse two here and go to the current stock and see a list of that. Now let's go see how we fill on consignment. Here I can say, I'm gonna specify the customer, specify the product, and I'm going to say, deliver, uh, fulfill with consignment, just like that. And what I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm actually, a few things are going to happen. This example that I'm showing is uh, a location which, when, I, when the order gets confirmed, it's going to create a purchase order so that I can use that to pay the third party to release the products to my customer. And that's one example. There's a number of different ways. You can avoid the creation of the PO if you want to. It's actually less, uh, less configuration to go that way. But for the example I'm showing today, I want to create a purchase order and use that purchase order as a tool to communicate to the consignment location, hey, you need to release these products for this order. So with this setup, sell order 12, remember that when I confirm it, it will generate not a delivery order specifically here, but keep in mind sale order 12, but it's going to generate a purchase order number four for sale order 12 here. Now this purchase order is what I will use to communicate to the vendor, whoever is the, whoever the people are holding this stock for me. And once I confirm with them that they received it, then it creates a receipt here. And now purchase order four is the source document related to sale order 12. So if I go to my inventory, and I look down here for delivery orders at the consignment warehouse, I will see purchase order for here. Just like that, created just now for the product X to go from here to the end location of the customer. And you'll see it's related to sale order 12 as the procurement group here. And you can see all the information that one would need as it relates to the picking, going to the customer's delivery address, which is exactly what we want. Um, if I go back to the purchase order, you'll see this is a drop ship. So if I print out the purchase order, again, it will communicate it's the shipping addresses to the customer, which the customer is the individual that I have on the original sale order which is sale order 12. So you can see how everything ties together. Now, once you confirm with the consignment organization that they delivered this, or if you wanna give them access rights just to see delivery orders for consignment, however you wanna handle it, they can validate it. And what it does is it would remove stock from the consignment location, which is a, a great thing because now it's allowing you to manage your stock levels in the consignment warehouse, as we can see right there. So stock is being pulled from the consignment location 
and being delivered to the customer. Stock levels are being depleted in the consignment location. I can have reordering rules here created to reorder more for consignment location. And I can create my min-max rules here, and I can specify when I need to reorder more, how do I do it? And I can say, create an internal transfer, for instance, propagating a transition of product from my parent warehouse to my consignment warehouse. So that's just a, a little summary on how all this can work. Um, there are many other variations of drop shipping. I know that, but uh, if you have any additional questions on how this particular flow works, feel free to reach out to the email address in the description of the video, and I'll be happy to drill into the details. Thanks so much and have a great day.